My name is Zuzanna Zubawa. I was born in Krakow. I finished university at Poznan, it's called UAP. I finished uh, graphic design. My adventure with art started when I was a very little girl. I was always drawing, painting, sculpturing something. When I was six or seven, I started going to drawing lessons and I found the perfect first tutor that he can see a potential in me. I was very stubborn and wanted to draw beautiful ladies, goddesses, gods, fairies, mermaids because I loved legends and mythology folklore so this was my main interest then and it still is this is why my bachelor degree about Greek mythology and the beginning of the word in Greek mythology my master design and my master diploma was about Icelandic folklore I wanted to illustrate that to bring more of it to Polish audience after I moved here my mother found this place in Kazimierz it was destined to be mine and I'm here right now for almost a year. The energy in this place is totally different than working in your home or any studio or at the university. Because of working with other artists and with other ateliers in Poznań, I got closer to see how it looks like to be in the art business, how much of a struggle it is to find people who want to help you or do an exposition of your art. I got so confident that I'm doing first solo vernissage in this workshop. It's finally time for my solo adventure as an artist. As every person we have doubts in our talent or our mission and purpose of what we're trying to do and having a mental illness and having personalization problem was very hard for me to find a belief in myself to find confidence that my work is good enough because I thought that what I'm doing is not good enough for showing or to continue doing that because it's also it's also hard when you're standing in front of your piece that is very very important to you and it's showing your vulnerable side but that just improved my style I got to work on the things that I focus the most which is a human being and human mind and the story that it's supposed to tell I still doubt in myself my talent or my works I have these moments when I'm painting something and I'm like, oh no 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 I will destroy something if I do this and not this I will destroy it it's like a lesson to take a step back let it be and come back to it in a minute every obstacle I had and difficulties I had is now is making me a better painter just influence my whole creation process helping me understand how artistic minds work in this space i can be just an artist that is creating all of her visions and all of her interpretations of the world that she's seeing but also this workshop is my future to build a business or to make a living because I can share the art and the happiness that comes from creation with other people so right now I'm in a very comfortable situation because I can make this a full-time job I'm making my own hours but also I can just talk with my friends or anyone that is interested in creating something didn't expect someone just to come there and buy a painting it just happens at very small steps but it's going forward and I think this workshop is the answer combining working as a freelancer with being an artist if I want to be an artist I will just come here and just focus on my work but if I want to be like a person who wants to share my experience I can just bring people here and just show them everything. So the space is very important when you're creating. I have to be honest, it's, it's difficult because in nature I'm kind of a lazy person. I love doing nothing. 
I love just relaxing, going for a walk with my dog and cooking or eating or cleaning or just spending time sitting with my friends, drinking wine, enjoying the moment. The moments like this are also very important because I have so many ideas or so many voices or so many colors, such a different perspective when I'm looking at the world around me. It feels very heavy with all of that ideas that you can't do immediately. So it's important for me going in, in the morning for a walk in Krakow at Podgórze. It's a beautiful space. You can just clear your head. Also wake up properly because you're moving all the time. Then I like to come home and make myself a coffee. Doing something on, on my computer like checking emails, checking social media, just to get myself into the mood for working. Mostly in the noon I'm coming here. Look at the works I'm supposed to paint. If I don't feel like painting I'm going to do something else or paint something else. Sometimes to, to make this uh, work-life balance you need to push yourself even if you don't want to do it at all. When you start just doing it like automatically you're getting into the mood, you're getting into the zone of working. I have this rule that if I'm going to the studio I have to be here at least four hours and after that when I'm satisfied with myself I'm going for a walk with my dog again, going to eat something and go back home and just do all of the things I want to do and it is being lazy. It's very important to remember that little steps matter the most. If you want to have a good work-life balance, push yourself, but give yourself a credit and allow yourself to be lazy from time to time.